Hello everyone. This is the second question of exercise 8.1 and in this question we have to tell whether the given values of x are satisfying this quadratic equation or not. If these values are satisfying this quadratic equation, this means that these values are the roots of this quadratic equation. So you all know how to solve a quadratic equation. So in the first part, as we have to only check whether these values are part of the quadratic equation or not, we'll directly substitute these values in this equation and we'll check whether left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. So first of all, on keeping x equals to 2, left hand side is equals to 2 square minus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2. This is equals to 4 minus 6 plus 2. Now please don't do this mistake that first of all you add this 6 plus 2 is 8 and 4 minus 8 is minus 4. First of all we all know that we add so we can write this like 4 plus 2 minus 6. That means 6 minus 6 and is equals to 0. So left hand side is equals to right hand side. This means x is equals to 2 is a root of this quadratic equation. Now I'm keeping x equals to minus 1. This will be minus 1 whole square minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 plus 2. So minus 1 to the power 2 gives us 1. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 that will be equals to plus 3 and plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. Is left hand side equals to right hand side? No. This means that x is equals to minus 1 is not a root of this given quadratic equation. Now coming on the part second, keeping x equals to 0, it will be 0 plus 0 plus 1. That will be equals to 1. The left hand side is not equals to the right hand side. This means this given value is not the root of this quadratic equation. Now keeping x equals to 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1. That will be equals to 3. Again it's not equals to 0. So this value is also not part of this or the root of this quadratic equation. Now coming on to part 3. It is first of all we keep root 3. So in keeping root 3 it will be the square of root 3 minus 3 multiplied by root 3 and again multiply by root 3 plus 6. So root 3 multiplied by root 3 gives us 3 multiplied by 3 as it is plus 6 as it is minus sign as it is and the square of root 3 will give us 3. So first of all we will multiply 3 minus 3 into 3 is 9 plus 6. So again please don't do the mistake of adding 9 and 6. First of all we will add 6 plus 3 that is 9 and 9 minus 9 that will be equals to 0. So this 0 is equal to the right hand side that is also 0. So this is a root of this quadratic equation. Now on keeping x is equals to minus 2 root 3. So this will be minus 2 root 3 whole square then minus 3 root 3 multiplied by minus 2 root 3 plus 6. So minus on squaring becomes positive 2 2 times is 4 and root 3 the whole square of root 3 is 3. So 4 into 3 minus minus and minus on multiplication gives us plus. So 3 2 times is 6 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give us 3 plus 6. So that will be equals to 12 plus 18 plus 6 and that will be equals to 36 which is not equals to 0 that means that minus 2 root 3 is not a root of this given quadratic equation this is how you can solve this question the remaining parts will solve in the next video thank you